Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time it's a base game only family house, which I am very excited about because it has been a while since I've done a base game only family home. I've done a few renovations of community lots from base game recently, and also like a few homes, but that's been a while. But uh, yeah, I really wasn't originally planning on building a base game home. As you probably noticed when I first started building on this lot, I placed like a door or two from some other packs and then I just all of a sudden got the inspiration to do it an only base game and I'm so happy that I did because I think the house just ended up being so cute and like charming and just so adorable I love the combination of the red roof with the blue siding and the yellow flowers it just feels so cheerful and like family oriented and just I don't know so cute <laughs> hopefully you guys do like it as much as I do but definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below so I ended up decorating this home for six sims you could easily fit that in here but if you wanted to have eight sims that is like no problem too because there's lots of different space there's like a bonus room there's a playroom there's a garage so there's lots of like extra space that you don't necessarily need for those particular activities if you want to fit more sims in here so yeah I think there's a lot of different options and I really love like the shape of the house there's also a swimming pool in the backyard as well as like a play area I think I included a sandbox if I remember correctly and yeah I don't know I just think this house is so so adorable I also really like the driveway I decided to make a like a, a kind of like a raised driveway or like a sloped driveway and I used the tool mod to rotate um, the vehicles that I'm using in the driveway to actually look like they're sitting on the ground because they actually just like place at a parallel level to the ground um, but and when you change the terrain they don't like snap to the terrain so you guys will see what I mean in just a little while but I think it actually ended up looking really good and yeah I just I'm so obsessed with this house it's nothing like I imagined that I was going to build and so it's just crazy how sometimes things just come together so quickly and easily and not what you expect at all but I'm so so happy with it and I think it's just so cute. So yeah, very excited to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, I was also really inspired by a build that I did recently in Del Sol Valley. This house is nothing like that one. That one was a retro style family home. It was supposed to look like a 1970s house. Um, but something that I did in that home that I really wanted to do in another home, and I was hoping that it would be like fairly soon, but I wasn't sure. Um, was the split level like play area that I built in that house and I was able to fit one in this home And I'm so excited about it because I think having something like that is just so it's so cute <laughs> And I think it just adds so much for like family gameplay, which um, If I play the game, that's definitely the type of gameplay that I like to do um, But I never play the game. I just build them, <laughs> but um, I think I think it just ended up being such a cute spot So yeah, hopefully you guys will like that um, but over here. I am creating the garage I tried a few different options to make the garage look a little bit more realistic we do have a few actual garage doors in the live edit objects but the base game ones are very like rustic looking they look a little bit more just uh, they're just kind of rough they're a little bit dirty looking they look like they might be a little bit rusted <laughs> I'm not exactly sure but um, yeah I just really didn't think they fit this build so I ended up not using them but I used this wallpaper that kind of looks like it could pass for a garage door I think um, I actually really liked it so that's what I ended up doing but here I'm creating the driveway like I was saying so I used the terrain tool to make a sloped driveway um, just so the garage door actually looked like it was sitting like flush with the ground and wasn't like elevated past the like foundation I guess that's that doesn't exactly make sense but hopefully you guys understand what I mean but I used the tool mod to rotate the vehicle so they look like they're actually sitting in the driveway and I think it looks really good I was trying to use a different car originally than the van but for some reason it didn't work with the tool mod I couldn't rotate it at all every once in a while you'll come across objects that just don't work I guess they're just not program to be able to rotate or move or I'm not exactly sure how that works I don't know anything about game developing but yeah for whatever reason they don't work but I think the garage and driveway and everything ended up being so cute and then I ended up just placing a fence over there and then for this yard area I decided to use a live edit objects fence um, I thought this one was super super cute and I felt like it kind of matched the style of the build really nicely so I was really happy with the way that looked and then I'm just sizing up these um, kind of uh, 
pillars <laughs> in between them, uh, which I thought looked pretty nice. And then for the landscaping, I'm just using a combination of different greenery that we have from base game and a few flowers just to make it feel like cheerful and bright, but not overly like cluttered with a bunch of different types of flowers. I felt like this kind of worked uh, nicely for this build and I really liked the yard space I ended up using some terrain paint just to look like there's a pathway going through the yard I used a combination of some grass and then this one that has like these stones um, Which I thought looked pretty cute and I don't use this terrain paint that much so yeah, I was really happy with the way that turned out. The landscaping is fairly simple, but I do think it complements like the shape of the build pretty nicely. And then over here, there is like a little balcony above the garage and there ends up being one on the other side too. And I like the shape of this side of the house. It looks very much like something you would find in like Brindleton Bay or something. So if you do have the cats and dogs pack, I definitely think this home could work in that world really nicely um, as well. But I'm building it over here in the Goss neighborhood on the lot where there's this really big house. I forget exactly the name of it. I think you could probably see it in the top left hand side of the screen. Um, I can't see it because it's too small on my screen, but um, yeah, that's a lot that I'm building on. You guys can probably recognize the neighborhood if you are familiar with base game. But yeah, moving on to the back of the house, I was not exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I remembered a picture that I saw on Pinterest. I've had it saved on my Pinterest board for a very long time. So I'll put it up on screen so you guys can see what I was looking at. I didn't use anything for the front of the house, but for the back of the house, I wanted to use some, you know, an inspiration image. And I remembered that one and I was really happy because I've been wanting to use it in a build, but I just haven't had like the right build um, to use that image in. And so, yeah, I think it worked perfect for this one and it definitely inspired like the landscaping for the backyard with like the swimming pool and everything. And I think it just ended up being so cute. Um, and so spacious too. There's like a lot of room if you wanted to include like maybe a greenhouse or a garden shed or I don't know, maybe even a tree house. I thought about building one, but they just don't quite look right in the game. I really wish that we had like some sort of like proper way to build tree houses in the game because I would use them all of the time. <laughs> even if we could just like place them and they were like rabbit holes, I would definitely not prefer that, but a treehouse object could be pretty cute if it had like the right swatches and style. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a scary thought because it could pro could possibly be like, um, I don't know, one of those objects like the microscope or the telescope where it's like way too big to use and there's so many different things that come in the game that have crazy swatches and patterns and you just end up never being able to use them because of that. I mean, I don't, but I'm not as creative with like colors and patterns. <laughs> I feel like I definitely hold back sometimes. But anyways, yeah, for the backyard, I noticed in the inspiration image that I was using that there were these pretty flower beds. So I decided to do them back here. The front of the build definitely is more tame when it comes to flowers, but back here, I thought it was kind of nice to have some actual like flower beds and I could imagine one of the sim parents like really taking care of them and like nurturing the flowers and planting new flowers and maybe even going to like the nursery and buying new flowers every spring and doing different like color varieties and variations in the flower beds and so I just thought it looked really cute back here so um, yeah I was really happy to have done that here again I was trying to create a rounded shape for the swimming pool it probably doesn't look that great <laughs> But I, I don't know. I think it does look all right. I do hope at some point that we actually get rounded swimming pools because I've been obsessed with them for a very long time. I see them in lots of different um, pictures on Pinterest and they just always look so good and I think they would match the style of The Sims so, so nicely. And the square ones just look kind of plain and boring and I'm tired of them. I want round ones. Um, I know you can do some tricks like covering up the edges with different objects, maybe from like live edit objects. I've seen a few people do a few things like that, but having actual rounded swimming pools would be amazing. But anyways, yeah, throughout the backyard, I'm just placing different decorations, some live edit objects, planters. I place a few um, actual planter boxes that your Sims can do some gardening in. And then there's a um, monkey bars. There's a, a sandbox. I created a sandbox using a fence and some terrain paint. And then I put a dollhouse in there just so your Sims have something to do in there. But of course it's sand so they can actually dig in the sand and build like a sand castle and maybe even other things. Is it just sand castles that they can do in there or is there actually like other things they can build or can they just dig in the sand or is it 
just building sandcastles I'm not sure but either way I thought it looked pretty cute and then on the back porch I did want there to be a few different activities so there's a outdoor dining table with a barbecue and a chess table and an art easel so your sims can do some painting and play some chess and just build up their skills and those types of things but anyways here moving on to the interior the interior came together pretty quickly it was a little bit difficult because it's kind of a weird shaped home and there was like a like a certain areas that I wanted to be certain things like the garage had a specific area and I wanted there to be a downstairs bathroom there ended up being two downstairs bathrooms there's also a spot that you could turn into a laundry room if you really wanted to maybe if you have laundry day or something but it's just kind of a hallway leading to a bathroom for now but of course you could always put a washer and dryer in the garage too that it's totally a possibility um, and then yeah for the second floor there's lots of rooms up here there's a toddler's room there's the teenagers room parents room and then a kids room and then also the bonus play area split level room and I noticed since I was adding the split level that it did raise the doors up and so I decided to make like a step down into the balconies but it kind of looked weird and so I decided just to actually raise up the entire balcony just by one I was trying to raise it up by two but it made it look a little bit too weird I felt for um just like the exterior of the building so yeah I tried a few different things maybe to cover it up with like a live edit objects fence or something but just having it raised up by one level I think actually looked pretty good and then of course for the interior since I'm using only base game it's pretty simply decorated I tried to not add like a lot of clutter or a lot of like extra decorations I tried to keep it pretty simply decorated I wanted it to feel like a base game house but I didn't want it to feel empty sometimes you open like a a build from EA from the original base game and it does feel very empty but of course they're building for lower end computers or basically all types of computers so they do have to keep that in mind but I really do like the way the interior turned out it doesn't look like any base game home that I've done before at least I don't think it does I definitely try to do different styles when I do base game homes um, which is a little bit difficult because of course the base game items are a little bit limited but I still feel like this doesn't feel like one that I've done before so that makes me happy and I think it's just so cute this is the living room and I really love these or this couch <laughs> this couch is actually an unlockable couch I believe you have to unlock it through a career I'm not sure which career that is but it's a really nice couch it's the best couch that we have in game and I think even when you have all of the packs, it's the best couch. It's just the most realistic looking couch, but it only has three swatches, which is very unfortunate. So hopefully they update that at some point because the other base game couch has like 35 swatches or something, like so many swatches. And the shape of it looks very boxy and uncomfortable and like the texture looks very um, not soft. I don't know I just wish that they would update this one but either way I like the swatch that I used here and I think it works really nicely in this build the color scheme for this build ended up being very like blue and white and cream um, which I think is nice we do have lots of nice blues from base game and I was kind of just inspired by the exterior because the exterior is blue but yeah over here is going to be the kitchen I rambled through the dining room the dining room is fairly simple but I do like it and there's a pretty good size dining table in there you could probably fit a larger one in there if you do end up having eight sims in this house but of course I just used one for six sims because that's what I had the space for or at least how I was going to decorate it but um, yeah I do think there's a lot of different options and I also sized up those china cabinets which is something I did pretty recently in a build but I think it actually looks so good because I think the china cabinets at least the base game ones sometimes are a bit small it's, the, the proportions of them I feel like sometimes are a little bit off but using the tool mod is so handy because you can easily size up lots of different objects to fit in different spaces I also sized up the refrigerator which I've been obsessed with recently and I just think it fills in the space around the refrigerator so much better <laughs> because you can use like move objects and pull the cabinet or the counter closer to the refrigerator because there's like kind of this weird gap when you just place a refrigerator and the cabinets next to each other and I feel like it just doesn't look right so if you size it up using the tool mod it fills in the space so much better but yeah for the kitchen I'm just cluttering it up with different objects that I thought looked cute and different objects that your sims can actually use there's a microwave there's a coffee pot and those types of things um, of course if you have other packs like 
cool kitchen. You can have the ice cream maker or what is it, movie hangout that has the popcorn machine. But from my experience, when the, well, the last time I played the game, which was maybe like years ago, um, your Sims obsessively use those items when you place them. Is that still the case or have they changed that at some point? But uh, yeah, let me know. Anyways, over here is going to be like a bonus room. It's kind of like an activity room. There's a computer desk in here. There's some bookcases. I place a fishbowl in here, which I thought was pretty cute. There's also a piano. And I think I might even place a guitar. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, it's just kind of like an extra family room, playroom, skill building room, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think it looks really nice and I was really happy to be able to include it. And I think, um, yeah, I think it actually looks really good. And I love those windows. Those windows actually came in an update they were part of the cover art or like the, pro the promotional art for the industrial loft kit, but then the kit came with a slightly different window. So it's kind of weird, but um, they ended up adding that window to base game. So really happy that we have it because it's a really nice window and I think it looks really cute on this build and I really liked it in that area of the house because it adds like so much light into that room. You could easily add like some plants in there if you wanted your sim to be like really into like indoor plants or something. But yeah, I decorated one bathroom and now I'm decorating another bathroom downstairs. So you could easily turn um, the hallway leading into this room into like a laundry room. That was kind of my idea when I was doing the floor plan, but then I remembered that laundry is not a base game feature. And so I just put a few items in there just to sort of fill in the space, but I would definitely turn that spot into a laundry room if you do have laundry day, or you could even add some like counters or something um, to like pretend that there's a washer and dryer in there, maybe even um, use like a dishwasher or some sort of appliance <laughs> to pretend that it's a washing machine or something. I think there's um, a few different things you could probably do. But anyways, over here is the garage. For the garage, I really just wanted it to look like a garage. It is pretty simply decorated like the rest of the home because it's a base game build and that's kind of the look that I was going for. But I did add a couple of activities in there. There is a treadmill in there and there's also the woodworking table and then just a few decorations that I thought sort of fit a garage. But anyways, moving on to the second floor, I'm just decorating the hallway um, pretty quickly. There's just some artwork in here. There's a bookcase, a light or two. <laughs> it's nothing very exciting, but it is a hallway. And then over here is going to be the shared bathroom for the kids and the teen and the toddler. Um, yeah, it's very similar to the downstairs bathrooms. I'm using a lot of the same items. But I really, um, I really do like it. I really like this tile, actually. This tile came in another update. Um, I forget exactly when that was, but there's a few different variations of it and a few different, like, colors. But this one, I felt like, actually suited, like, the whole color scheme of the build really nicely. I really just love the blue and, like, the yellow, and it has a nice pattern to it. So it's super pretty, but... Yeah, over here is going to be the parents' bedroom. I really like the parents' bedroom. I like this bed and the colors with the blue and the white. So cute. The doors that I'm using actually came from that same update as the tile. Um, and I don't usually use them in this particular swatch. Usually I use them in the white swatch. And I just, I like these doors because they're a really good height and the colors on them are really nice. And like the white is actually like a true white. <laughs> so it looks good. Um, but yeah, I don't usually use it in the blue color, but I'm happy that I did here. Um, and yeah, this is the parents' ensuite bathroom. It's pretty simply decorated too, but I think it looks really nice. There I'm just adding a couple of toddler potties because I forgot about them and I definitely need them in the build because your toddlers need somewhere to go to the bathroom but yeah over here is going to be the toddlers bedroom I decided to use this wallpaper with the dinosaurs and the bunnies it's so, it's so cute I think the combination of bunnies and dinosaurs is so random like it's not something I would ever think to do on my own to put them as like two animals together there's also elephants in here too oh no it's also elephants on the wallpaper yeah it's elephants dinosaurs and bunnies but it's so cute and um, I think the colors actually worked really nicely in here and I think it's a really nice toddler bedroom. I don't know, I think it's adorable. <laughs> Sometimes when I decorate toddler bedrooms or like nurseries, I feel like they don't really feel complete. They feel kind of empty and I don't know, I'm always like wanting more, but this time I actually was pretty satisfied with it. Let me know if you guys agree, but every time I like finish building one, I'm like really wanting like a nursery kit or like a, a, 
like a toddler decorating kit basically um, but this time I felt like it actually came together pretty well but anyways over here is going to be a kids room so in here I decided to put some bunk beds so you could have two kids in here really easily I was thinking that they're probably twins but depending on your household they may not be um, and in here I also put the uh, what do you call this like the science experimenting table and I did not realize that this had more swatches. For the longest time, it had the one basic green swatch, but at some point they updated it. So I don't know if this was recently or when this happened. Let me let me know if you guys know, but I have no idea when this was updated. But thankfully they did add some extra swatches because that was something that I think was definitely needed. And thankfully there was one that worked really nicely in here. I think the default swatch that was there originally would have worked in here, but I think this one does work better. And then I just added a few um, decorations around, some posters, a chair, and this statue decoration fit on top of that shelf. And I thought that was so funny that it fit up there. And I just sized it down just so it looked like it actually was supposed to be up there and yeah I thought it looked pretty cute and then over here is going to be a teenager's room so in here I actually used two single beds I've been doing this a lot recently and I just think it looks a lot better especially for a teen's room I just feel like the proportions of the single bed they look too narrow like I think having them one tile wide is too narrow I think they need to be like two tiles so putting two of them next to each other I feel like just looks a little bit better and this one actually um, looks pretty good when you put two of them next to each other they don't look so awkward on the spots where they overlap so yeah I was really happy with that and this room ends up being very pink I tried to make it feel a little bit youthful but I definitely wanted it to feel like a teenager's room I definitely think this teen is more of like a younger teen maybe like 13, 14, 15 at most, but I don't think they're like about ready to graduate high school or anything or go off to college. I think they're a bit younger, but yeah, I decided to decorate the top of the bed over here um, with a few things because I ended up not putting a nightstand. And so I imagine this teenager uses the bed frame as a nightstand, which is kind of like a teenagery thing to do, I thought. So I thought that was pretty cute. But anyways, yeah, I'm just adding some different decorations around the desk area, some posters and different things that I just kind of thought like match the color scheme and style that I was going for in this room and then over here is of course going to be the playroom that I was talking about so it's just a split level raised up by a couple of steps into this part of the house so you could easily turn this into another bedroom it would be a very large bedroom <laughs> if you wanted to you could probably even turn it into two bedrooms or something like that but yeah I think a play area is a like a really nice use of the space. I put a bookcase in here, a couple of chairs, these bear chairs I thought were so perfect for it. And then I put a couple of the arts and crafts tables for children. But of course, if you have other packs, there's a few different possibilities. Uh, like I was saying with like the, the puppet thing from kids room stuff, and then there's the tent and I, I don't know there's a few different options and I'm sure you guys could get really creative. If you guys do decide to download this house, I will have it on the gallery. Um, hopefully, as soon as I have it uploaded sometimes I do forget and if I do forget you guys can always remind me please feel free because sometimes I just forget about the gallery um, so please forgive me but anyways yeah this is basically it for the build I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots so yeah thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon bye Little bit